Good morning, Vietnam. So today is a very special day. Today is the, one of the reasons why I actually came to Vietnam in the first place. So uh, when we first decided that we were going to come to Vietnam, it was because I saw some photographs. And those photographs were, of course, of the beautiful Ho Long Bay. So today is our trip. We're going to see if we can, well, we're not going to see if we can. We're going to do a cruise overnight. And I just can't wait. I mean, like I said, this this was the whole reason for coming to Vietnam. Now, so far, it's been absolutely amazing. All the, you know, the hotels have been brilliant everywhere we stayed. The food has been incredible. Haven't gotten a bad meal, haven't gotten a bad drink. And today is how long day, so I'm so excited. I just cannot wait for it. So uh, let's start our special journey to how long day. So when you arrive on the dock on the boarding area, just be care, be ready for a little bit of organised chaos because uh, I'd say this is the start of the busy season and um, there's a hell of a lot of people here. My bags have just uh, been tagged to take to the room but I wasn't taking any chances with my camera bag so I said I'm going to take that myself because there's bags lying around everywhere, there's hundreds and hundreds of people everywhere and it's just a little bit of organised chaos. But do you know what? That's all part of it, that's all the fun in it. So I've gotten my tag, feel very important now, but it also means I can't get lost. Paula doesn't have a tag, so she can get lost, <laughs> but I've got one. <laughs> so we got about 30 minutes just to get out to the cruise. Uh, we board one small boat, well, it's about, you know, about 50 people, 40, 50 people on this boat and uh, they're just going to take us out to the big ship then. So, organised chaos on the dock, but we're on our way now. It's great stuff. It's about 30 minutes going out there. So we're told that these are actually uh, some of the biggest rooms that's actually in Halong Bay on any ship that's around here, cruise ship that's going around. So we're excited to see what our room looks like. Let's take a look. This is the bed. The bed is just here that you can walk behind overlooking. Oh my God, look at this view. We haven't even taken off yet and headed off all around. And these, there's a reason why they say that these are the biggest rooms in Halong Bay. He said that this is a relatively, there's two ships. And yeah, that's our balcony out there. Jeez. So the bed is here. Got some space to sit here. Here, I'm presuming, is all where the closet is. Yeah, the usual. We got a safe in here. Most importantly, there's the life jacket. There's only one life jacket, Paula. You can swim anyway, can't you? Cool. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Wow, this is like a little apartment. And look at this, we have the bath here. Paul of the bath is, yeah. <coughs> oh yes. Look at that. Sitting there having a bath, overlooking Halong Bay. Now we're onto the balcony area. And this is our balcony. Wow. 
still docked in port. I guess that's the technical term. So these are all the other boats that seem to be around. We're on the second floor where the bed is again here. Bed. Oh man, this is amazing. So there you have a tour of Aero Cruises. Yes, Aero Cruises of all things. The cruise that we went on is ERA Cruises, pronounced ERA Cruises, so Irish Cruises. It's just too so, yeah. So, the apartment when we saw this, or the, the, the room when we booked it, uh, is everything that we expected. They said uh, in the introduction, when we were up on the third floor when we came on, there was a brief, obviously, a brief introduction as to everything and safety measures and stuff like that. And uh, he told us that. Uh, these are some of the biggest rooms in Halong Bay on the boats that are around there. So can't wait for what's ahead. A tight schedule ahead, but this is the reason why we actually came to Vietnam in the first place. So when I first saw the photographs of Halong Bay, um, I said, you know, we have to come here. We were thinking about going to Bali, but then we decided that we'd try Vietnam because Bali still hadn't opened up at that stage. But uh, so glad that we came here now at this stage. It's um, you know, it's, <laughs> when we came around, when we came in first, it does look a little bit like you're coming into Jurassic Park. Uh, but yeah, all the boats around, I guess everybody will be setting sail soon. We haven't moved yet, but really looking forward to the next 24 hours. restaurant for lunch straight away beautiful little restaurant here this is on the third floor so we have the sky deck that's just off to my left here so we can get drinks and stuff out there later on and then there's the upper deck then as well so having some lunch first looking forward to that and then uh, there's the kayaking and stuff later on about four o'clock so an hour or two back in the room and uh, let's see if we can do the kayaking <laughs> Unfortunately, we have a little problem. Um, the, uh, they're going to be doing the kayaking soon. Now, there's two things. Number one, uh, I've never been in a sea kayak before. Number two, I can't swim. <laughs> so we were talking to the guys and the situation with Paula, because she's on crutches and she's got her boot. So uh, what we did was um, we spoke to the guy, but he said it's very hard to get down to where they launch the kayaks from. So I'm betwixt and between whether I'll go or not. Um, Paula's telling me go, obviously, she always says that. Uh, but we're gonna go up anyway, we're gonna take a look and see if it's possible for her to get down to where we need to go and take the kayaks out. Um, it's such a shame to be missing it, but look, we'll take a look and see what happens anyway. I think the drop is too much. I don't think Paula is going to be able to to get down there. So that'll mean I'll have to go on my own. Yes, 
from here. No. Yes, try to jump. Jump to the water. Ah, that's cold. You said it was warm. No, it's not warm. It's not cold. It's not warm. It's warm. You sure there's no shadow? Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll float, we'll float. Area Chow only has a shark with a live air. Have you seen the belly? <laughs> <laughs> that's not the problem. Oh. Oh. Signs. <laughs> no other step. So that is the most I've ever been in the water in my life. And I was bricking it. I think I got two panic attacks. It wasn't good. But I went in and did it. There's no way that I could come to Vietnam in Ho Long Bay and not get in the water. If I had 10 life rings on me, I would have went and done it. But at least I went and done it. Nearly a panic attack. So this is a lot easier. So off the edge of the boat, Paul is back there. Unfortunately, sad that I have to leave her, but look. So I'm gonna take a kayak ride over here and see how we get on. Let's go do it. Yeah. So this is the life, kayaking in how long bay or how long bay i mean it's like jurassic it's so peaceful now out here like i said i'm absolutely terrified of water i don't mind doing this i feel safe uh jumping in the water when i can't swim is not a good idea but this is amazing i mean look at this oh my god this is amazing it's like jurassic park so i'm gonna continue my trip over here just go over and then come back again Gonna check out these limestone rocks. But they're islands really. Absolutely fantastic. Where else would you be in the world? Wow. So yeah, this is roughly bait out after that. Look at this. He's amazing. Amazing bit of nature. That's tiring work, especially on your hips and stuff. The boat's way back over there. But uh, I'm gonna just go into this little bay here now, see how that goes. Yeah, so made it into this little bay. Look at this. Yes, and if you're wondering, that is thunder in the background. Wow. Okay, so one of my goals in life is to touch one of the rocks. So I'm gonna see if I can go over and do that. Here we go. So here we go. Been looking at him on photographs for long enough. And now I finally touched one. Man, that's amazing, what a feeling. What an absolute feeling, makes things like this worthwhile. Look at that. Oh, I'm gutted Paula can't be here with me. Genuinely, like I'd love for her to be here, but someday we're gonna come back again when she's much fitter, able to walk on her own two legs, and we'll come back and do this again. You'd have to, it's amazing. So 
like I was saying earlier on uh, last year when we said we were going to take a trip this year um, you know we were looking at Bali possibly going to there but uh, we decided then when I saw photographs of this place Halong Bay um, it's absolutely beautiful these limestone uh, little islands that are around you know just just jutting up out of them there must be thousands of them but it's like something out of Jurassic Park but uh, as we're coming up here there is like there's a fortune of boats here and you can see why it's so popular as well I mean it's you out of all this busyness that's around you can still get a quiet tranquil spot and I just can't believe that we're actually here now at the moment finally um, after waiting for so long finally here and uh, you know nice and warm nice and quiet the sun is starting to go down now as well so we said a long time ago my dear that we were going to get here and uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous what's your impressions of it now that we're here it's fabulous you know isn't it, it lovely really is. and it's so it's it's lovely and even now it's nice and hot and even we're going forward here and like you know the boats that are all around as well but it's still so tranquil and everything now Unfortunately, you can see in the water in a lot of places there's been trash thrown in, well, thrown in, or it ends up in there anyhow, however it does, but that's a pity, like, but, um, you know, when you're cruising along and you just, you just see these type of rocks and cliffs just passing by you on the side. It is like something out of Jurassic Park. It's as, you know, I've never seen it. We've got beautiful, gorgeous, rugged coastline, you know, West Cork, Kerry, all up around there. It's amazing, but, um, yeah, this is something special. It's something very, very different. Uh, natural. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so uh, very natural. Um, Mother Nature at its best. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, the people of Vietnam here are taking advantage of it. Well, not taking advantage, but they're you know, the, the, these cruises here. Have, you know, for us, it's been fantastic so far. The food was amazing. It's ERA era cruises. Uh, food has been amazing. People have been lovely. I mean, uh, you know, they insisted on me getting into the water earlier on, something I never would have done. Paul encouraged it as well. And I just couldn't come all this way and not get into the water. But I went in and I did it. I had two panic attacks, but I went in there and I did it. And then I knew that the, uh, you know, doing the kayaking over into one of the bays would be gorgeous. And it was just a pity Paula couldn't come as well. But next time, next time it'll happen. So uh, just waiting now for the sun to go down. Uh, we might have a beverage or two and uh, a few more activities in the morning. So uh, let's see how we get on. Good morning, Vietnam. From the absolutely beautiful Ha Long Bay. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I keep going on about it. Um, so it's 6.30 a.m. And this morning we're going to be taking a trip on the bamboo boats. So I believe today we're going to be heading in through a cave. Uh, yesterday we did the kayaking, which was an amazing experience for me. So this morning we made sure we were up bright and early last night. Uh, we had dinner, went back to the room and I was absolutely wiped. So we didn't even do cocktail hour or anything like that. So went to sleep about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, I was absolutely exhausted. So this morning we made sure that we were up bright and early because today we can do the bamboo boats um, and Paula is going to be able to do that so I'm delighted about that. So we're supposed to be going through the caves, uh, especially cave this morning. So I made sure I was up bright and early for that. So uh, like I said, it's uh, era cruises that we've been with. Uh, I'd highly recommend them. The staff on here again have been absolutely fantastic. Everywhere we've gone in Vietnam, staff have been absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, the food, we had dinner last night. Uh, I didn't film it too much because I was starving after all my exercise. And uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, crab, seafood, everything that you could have wanted was, was actually on it. Um, it was a buffet. So take as much as you want and it was absolutely amazing so sun is rising just after rising here behind me uh, as you can see here and there are some obviously lots of other boats that are actually here so um, yeah absolutely gorgeous so uh, looking forward to the day ahead 
and unfortunately we'll be heading back later on about uh, half 10 to 11 o'clock so we're just going to be doing this uh, morning excursion to the cave and uh, come back have a bit of uh, we just had some breakfast something small so come back have a quick little lunch i think and then we'll be heading back i have no doubt that i'm going to sleep on the bus going back so two two and a half hours going back so let's go have an absolutely fantastic morning So I'm just heading out there and as you can see even in beautiful nature we still have signs <laughs> so the entrance probably to the cave is this way it's just absolutely amazing it's beautiful here I think it's the first cave that's here. The water's after getting a lot more shallow. So there's a queue of people going through. But. Water's uh, much more shallow here now, see if kayakers as well, unfortunately, coming through. So but we'll get in, we'll get in. It actually looks uh, a lot bigger than what it is when you're actually coming in, but it is fairly tight. See you there. There's a little slipstream coming in. But. So obviously because we're in a cave as well, you got lots of bats that are flying around that are just above us. Not the bats I'm worried about, is if they have a shit on top of us. <laughs> and then we come out into this little bay on the other side. Everybody does a U-turn, come back through it again. <laughs> we all end up bumping into each other again. I guess it's going to be a chance as well then again for the, the guys just to take a breather after rowing over. It can't be easy every time. It's just a complete traffic jam here now at the moment. There's so many boats um, and kayaks as well. You know can avoid it. I mean, everybody wants to see this place and this is the thing to do, so. Complete traffic jam, look at this.
as well usually there's a monkey sometimes you might see monkeys in the trees but it's like you know half six seven o'clock in the morning if I were the monkeys I'd be still in bed as well I'm like nah sorry not getting up for a performance this morning wouldn't blame him still gorgeous eh? Just as I said about there being no monkeys, there was one or two just showed over there in the corner. I just got a very, very quick glimpse of one of them, but uh, you just see the, the, the trees moving, and obviously there's no, no breeze or no wind, and uh, a few of the boats actually just went over, but you just see the trees moving, so they're going from one to the other, whatever they're doing. A few of the boats actually went over. So some are up for breakfast. when you only have 24 hours you're trying to fit everything in because you've got the activities as well and uh, so I wanted to do the activities obviously the kayaking and everything else but then while you're doing that you're kind of missing you know the, opp the opportunity to, to just sit and look at these amazing views uh, photography as well I wanted to take some epic photographs it's really hard to do it I mean unless you're spending a couple of days here you know you need to plan it out but these stacks or or islands are just stunning to be passing by them and there's so many photographs that i wanted to take but 24 hours just isn't enough to try and fit everything in um, great to be able to do that once you have your 24 hours but uh, it's just epic glorious My traditional Vietnamese breakfast, uh, noodles and beef, and some other Vietnamese stuff. And I said, why not just go for the old egg on toast? I have actually, I haven't had egg on toast in a couple of weeks, so cool. And there's a little bit of bacon as well, so I'm going to enjoy this. And so ends our Halong Bay trip. Uh, sad to be leaving it, we're on to the next best thing. So we got a quick trip back to Hanoi and then from Hanoi we're uh, spending one night there with our friend Martin and then what we're going to do is we're heading to Da Nang. So I hope you enjoyed Ha Long Bay, I certainly did, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you all for joining me, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you all very, very soon. Let's see what's up next.